Hey there everyone, we're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom to celebrate the 50th anniversary. We finally made it to see the brand new show, Kite Tales. It's just about to begin. We're gonna get a spot here in this amphitheater and check it out. Here we go, Kite Tales. Take a look at the banners as you make your way in. We're gonna find a great spot. You can see those kites up above kind of to introduce us to Disney's Kite Tales. I cannot wait. We're gonna see a brand new show. You can see the amphitheater is not too crowded as we make our way down here. We're gonna find a great spot to see the whole show. Before the show begins, you can see Flounder, his little kite right there flying around here at the amphitheater and across the way you can see more of our favorite characters getting ready for a fantastic show. We're gonna see the whole thing from this front row seat, the one sitting in front of us here. It's gonna be amazing. You can see they're starting off with some really cool smaller turtles making their way along the amphitheater here. I have a feeling that they're probably coming for some of the smaller turtles among us to play along with the fun. All right, let's see it. Let's check this show out. And that was Kite Tales. Very interesting show here at the amphitheater at Animal Kingdom. A little shorter than I was expecting, and there's a lot more things back there, which I have a feeling will be debuting in the future. I was waiting for them to kind of you know, solidify the show a bit more. And they've definitely kind of gotten more of a track of what they're looking for, but it's different. It's different than I think what we expect. It was much shorter than I was expecting. It was very quick. Cool to see the kites, though. I really did like the, the big Simba one. That was, that was pretty cool. And it is going around. It takes a lot of like talent to steer those things in the jet skis. That's that's the part that really kind of got me, the fact that the cast members were so talented to kind of steer these things and not run into each other as they're going around with these small cables going between the kites. Very impressive. I think Kite Tales is best uh, described as great for kids. I really do. I think that's kind of who they were trying to appeal. With the show, you saw a lot of kids in the show having a great time enjoying it. They really are cool to see, the kites themselves. I think it's probably meant more for a kid. I liked it, probably wouldn't see it again super soon, but you never know what they change in the future. As you walk into the Dinorama, you look to your right, Primeval World is half gone. We've known about it for some time, but Primeval World is coming to an end. It's active a construction site right now. You can see they've got this white wall right up front here with the green trim, and then this scrim right here. The roller coaster itself is basically completely demolished at this point. You can see construction material right beyond the fence here. But wow, they are really bringing this down very quickly. The question on everyone's mind, what will replace it? I think it's a very good question. And I know there's been some talk about Indiana Jones and I, I'd like it, I would. Do I think that's likely? No, I think they're probably gonna stick with the dino theme at least for a while. Why do I think that? But look around me, there's a lot of people here. Not, not super crowded, but it's not abandoned either. So I think they're probably gonna keep this area at least for a while until they're ready to make bigger changes, but the fact that they would be going forward with the demolition of Primeval World makes you wonder what they're thinking for all of Dino Land. If you haven't seen it in a while, take a look. This is the uh, kind of the arcade slash carnival area where you can shoot that water gun over there. You can uh, use the little wiffle balls here <laughs> to try and get one of these prizes, or you can uh, kind of play a ski ball. And there's a few more items. There's a few more games to play all around Dino Land USA. It is a lot of fun. You know, I didn't really grow up playing most of these games in Dinoland, but maybe we'll try 
Just a bit. You can see you can win these prizes right here with a little wiffle ball game. It's mostly a game of chance here, but still fun. Take a look, and you try and win a prize. Each game ticket costs $6, and you purchase those separately. All right, now the guests are throwing those balls right here, trying to get those prizes. Easier said than done. Let's see if we can get some of those prizes here. We saw some win a little while ago, but it is a mostly game of chance as you throw some of these uh, wiffle balls in here. Oh, we lost one. I'll, I'll grab that. Let's see if somebody wants it back. Thank you, sir. Sure. Yeah, just go ahead and right there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so as you can see, oh, those balls good. can go right, flying all over the place. If you miss it, you get a retry here. A oh, chance to retry. play but again. Have so here, blue, there is one winner because, from this right, entire group prize, right either. here. I can't believe it. We just saw an extra large win right here. That's very impressive. Now, this is Mammoth Marathon. This is where you throw those balls, basically a ski ball, and try and win a prize. And there's a winner every time, at least is my understanding. Yep, winner every race. Yeah, the opportunity to win some of these prizes, the small, medium, or large, depending on how fast your mammoth runs. It's time, mammoth race. They're racing those mammoths right across the top there. They're throwing those ski balls into those holes to see who can win. Number 11 or number 16, let's see how well we do. So far, 16's in the lead, followed by 11. 12 is following up the rear, but 16 is definitely getting ahead here. Let's see how far he can get. 11 is actually starting to creep up on 16, but 16's continuing to make it forward. Will it be 16 or 11? 11's getting closer now, but 16's almost made it. One more throw should do it for 16, and then it's gonna be a game over. Sure enough, it's 16. For the win. The water gun game is called Fossil Fueler here. And you actually take that water gun and you try and fill up the, uh, I think it's one of these circles that move up towards the ceiling there. Winner every race, you win one of the smaller dinosaur heads right up there, or one of the smaller uh, kind of full dinosaurs. And then at the end, you got those larger sparkly dinosaurs. I like that. I think that's if you go super fast, maybe win several times in a row. Very cool. Next up, we've got Brontoscore, where it's basically basketball. You're trying to shoot that hoop and get one of your favorite dinos. One ball in wins a small prize right up here. Look at those little turtles. Those are cute. And you got two balls, get the medium size, and then the large one. Look at that mammoth right up there wearing like a sweatband and sweatshirt. I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm tempted to play them all. I don't know. I really like that mammoth up there. Last up over here, we've got Whack of, is it Pachyosaur? I think it is Pachyosaur. You see winner every race and you whack those different different characters right up front. I don't want to play this one because I don't want to compete with the kids. I'd feel bad. I want them to be able to win a prize so you can win again the small, medium, or large. You can see the medium prize here is actually that egg. You see the little egg with the eyes coming out of it? That is super cute. And then you got the uh, the punching punching uh, dinosaur there. But look, you can see the uh, different dinosaur is going to pop out of there. And eventually you'll have the opportunity to see if you win based on the speed at which you whack those little uh, dinosaurs. See a father and son here having a good time together. There we go, whack them back, those dinosaurs there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. Let's see who can win that small little slot right here. We've got 100 points, 110, 100 points, 130, 140, 50. Oh, 150 is the winner right here. You get the little slot, the purple one or the green one. I love it. All right, I'm going to get one ticket to play that uh, Comet Crusher right over there. That sounds fun today. We'll play all the games eventually, but I do want to try it. A bit of a long line for those dino tickets. Maybe I'll get two. Maybe. We'll see. I do want to play. All right, we've got our ticket. I got one ticket today, one game credit from Dino Rama. Which one's it going to be? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Comet Crusher, but still undecided. I'm going to play them all at some point. I really will. Looking forward to it. But I think to start today, we'll play Comet Crusher. Crasher. Comet Crasher. I'm starting to see the name again. Pretty good, bro. Ah. Oh, oh. Uh, almost. almost. Ah. Very close that one is like me. Oh, oh, you saw that. You saw that. That was close. Congratulations. Sir. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. That was fun. Oh, we got so close to the goal. Well, that's all right. We'll play again in the future. But I can see the appeal. It is a lot of fun to play here at Dynorama. One of these days, we're going to get one of those prizes. One of these days. As I'm walking past Pine Tails, I'm noticing there are different characters who are lined up now. I think I can see Baloo. Let's actually walk around. I just want to show you as we're walking around. We'll, we'll see the show again another day. But it's interesting, they change up the characters apparently every show. Learn from a cast member, there are two versions of the show, Jungle Book and Lion King. So we're gonna look around, kind of see the other side of the show. Starts in about 15 minutes, so we'll be able to see those uh, kites starting to fill up anyway. 
before that Jungle Book show begins. It's almost showtime and you can see those cast members are getting King Louie ready to go on this side and Baloo is almost ready to go on that side. I'm very excited to see it from this angle. I think it's gonna be cool to see it like from not directly in the, uh, in the stands. I think it'd be kind of a unique angle. Okay, it looks like Baloo is gonna go first. Here he comes. There he goes, look at Baloo flying in the air right there. That's cute. Necessities, oh my God, they're playing the music as Baloo is flying around the amphitheater here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So cool. There he goes, he's larger than life as he's flying in front of us here. It actually is a great spot if you're late to the show. Don't be afraid to take up this spot, kind of uh, by this fence right over here and watch Baloo fly by and then another kite. Go up in the air. Prickly pear right there. I had to get a little closer to see that one. Very cool. And Baloo's going to try and chase it down here. There he is. He's chasing that prickly pear. You can see they land the characters right here on this kind of part of the uh, amphitheater here. So they can deflate and make their way for the next larger than life kite that makes its way from this area here. I have a feeling it's probably King Louie. Take a look at those elephants. There they go on parade, flying through the air. Oh, there's more elephants over here. Two sets of those elephant flying kites. Now, these are the really cool ones because they can do all sorts of interesting acrobatic tricks in the air. Very, very impressive to see that. That's the cool piece of behind the magic right here. You can see that pump is being used right now to inflate King Louie. I'm wondering what's gonna happen when it's time for him to take off. I'm guessing that pump just gets automatically disconnected as he takes off. We're gonna find out together though. Here comes these monkeys right there. I love to see them take off like that. That's very cool. For the king himself, it did get disconnected as it took off. There's King Louie. Wow, there he goes. King Louie's flying around the whole amphitheater here. I love it. Okay, I think it might be time for King Louie to come in for a landing. Here he comes. I think this is it. Three, two, one, and a nice landing. Stick the finish, Louie. There he is. Love it. Now we're here in Starbucks and looking at some of the 50th anniversary treats, the 50th celebration cupcake with that gold 50 on top. Love that one. And next to it, besides the bagel and the cookie, we've got the 50th celebration Mickey Dome Moose. Wow. I am uh, I'm tempted by both, but I think the Moose Dome is the one that I'll be trying within the next 18 months. Not today, but another day. For sure. Another thought that I think you know was going to bring up the trams. The trams are still not back. And I miss them and I wish they were back. And I was thinking of a way that would help to bring them back. Because if it is truly a staffing issue, which wouldn't surprise me, it would make a lot of sense for there to be more you know, incentives, right? For, for cast members to, to take those jobs. That's just my thought. But I don't know what the solution is, but I measured it this morning from the parking spot, it's seven tenths of a mile to the front of the park. That's far, that's a far way to walk without even being in the park. One thought that had occurred to me, maybe this is Disney's way of saying we want more people to pay for preferred parking. I, I don't know, I really, I don't, don't agree if that is the strategy, I don't know if it is, but I feel like the tramps, especially for those who park, and I know there are a lot of people who bring their own cars to Disney, whether or not you're staying at the resorts, and prefer parking, prefer taking your own vehicle. It's uh, it's quite a hike, especially Animal Kingdom and uh, Magic Kingdom. Sometimes Hollywood Studios on certain days. It can be quite a distance to get to uh, where you need to go. Now, since we're so close to Disney's Animal Kingdom, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to stop by the McDonald's and check out some of those 50th anniversary toys. You may have heard McDonald's and Disney have partnered to create some very cool kids meal, happy meal toys. 50th anniversary. I just want to check out here. I'm sure they have them at this McDonald's. Here at this McDonald's, we've been here before. I love the kind of kiosk they have here and the commitment they have to renewable energy. I really appreciate that. We went over that in a previous video. But one of the things that really I was thinking about, look at this app here. I had the app for a while. You can see they've got the uh, buy a combo meal, get a happy meal free. You get one combo meal, you get that happy meal. That sounds 
perfect for trying some things here and getting that Happy Meal. Here's that Happy Meal, the 50th anniversary toy with the Happy Meal. Perfect for today, yes. Okay, we have got our meal from the McDonald's here at Walt Disney World. We're gonna check out some of these very cool prizes here you can get with that Happy Meal. Look at that, you can get Pinocchio, Cogsworth, Tinkerbell, BB-8. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. <laughs> That's really, really impressive. Now the question is, which one did we get? We're gonna dig through here and find that little toy. Here it is, I see it at the bottom. I'm gonna be giving this uh, food, I think, to my brother. We'll see, but what did we get? We got Groot, oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I missed the fact there's a whole other side of characters that you could possibly get, and Groot is somewhere on there. Actually, there he is. There's Rocket, wait a minute, where's Groot? There he is, right there. That is so, so cool. Let's set him up and take a look at him. The McDonald's toys are always super fun. I remember as a kid, he's actually got a little Epcot background here. Very cool, bring a little piece. Oh look, it's actually holographic back there, a little Epcot background, you see that? That is so, so cool. Little Pixie does flying by, let's put Groot on his little stand. There he is, and I'm not sure if you can request, like if you have a certain type of toy, you want a different kind of toy, I'm not sure if you could, probably could, I don't, I don't know, 100%, but very cool. Celebrating 50 years of magic, partnering with McDonald's. A fun day today out and about Animal Kingdom, Kite Tales, we can we saw some of the uh, very special dino games happening, that was a lot of fun. We'll play again for sure in the future, and of course McDonald's and the new Groot toy. Let me know if you're collecting those toys from McDonald's, what you think of Kite Tales, and thoughts about Dino Land. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.